Hey everyone, today I will be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Reverse Pochette Matisse and the Outdoor Messenger. Now this is from the men's line. This is in the Monogram Eclipse canvas in the uh, Noir color in black. And I did an entire separate review, reviewing this bag and showing what it fits inside. So I'm not gonna go into the details, but really I just wanna compare the two. And I also did a review on this separately, which I will also link. I did have some people asking to compare the two bags because they are kind of a similar shape. I'll just go into the overall similarities. So um, they're both similarly sized, kind of a similar profile uh, because this does expand the Pichette Matisse. They both have uh, crossbody straps. Pretty much that's kind of where the similarities end. So this has a top handle, it has a flap closure, and it has hardware to close, while this has a double zip, and it has a smaller zip pocket in the front versus this slim zip pocket in the back. Um, I would say, I guess the zipper pulls are maybe similar size, but they're not really, you know, they don't look the same. This has the LV on there. And this says Louis Vuitton written out. The back again on this is just the plain monogram eclipse. This has the zip. And I do prefer that this has a back pocket with for your phone to fit inside. I like that because then the phone is right against your body when you're carrying it as a crossbody. As far as these straps with the outdoor messenger, they adjust on both sides. So it has a really long shoulder strap in the canvas with the LVs written on both sides. And then the strap adjusts on both sides with that nylon webbing, and it has this loop here and the metal hardware. Whereas the Pochette Matisse is the typical, it's kind of the monogram shoulder, adjustable shoulder strap. This doesn't have any kind of shoulder pad or anything, and it's more like a belt with just the five uh, length options. And overall, this is gold hardware. The outdoor messenger is silver hardware. This is a lot more comfortable to wear because it has a wider shoulder strap. And so all the weight is, you know, distributed <laughs> more evenly on the wider shoulder strap versus this. If I, if I weigh down the Pichette Matisse, this does get pretty heavy. And then all that weight is just on this kind of a narrow strap. And so that can kind of dig into your shoulders if you're wearing it for a long period of time. Um, I like to use this top handle because when you're wearing this as a, as a crossbody, you know, you're wearing it around you as a crossbody, it's easy to just kind of grab it and then you can take it off a lot more easily when you have this. Uh, Outdoor Messenger does carry more inside than the Pichette Matisse, but I just find that this is easier to use. And so unless you have a need where you need to carry more things, this is a little easier to use day to day because the buckle is a lot easier to open. It has the organized interior with the one big interior pocket and then the two side pockets. Because it's a zipper, you almost kind of need both hands to open it, at least one to stabilize and then the other one to, to open the zipper. There's the interior of the Outdoor Messenger. It has one slip pocket. And then this front pocket is really wide, so this does fit more because this is really generous inside and so I'll go ahead and show you what they both fit inside. I'll start with the Pochette Matisse because this is smaller. This does fit less than the Outdoor Messenger. So the way I typically pack this is I have my phone. I just slip this right in the back pocket. Right there. Open this up. And then the way I pack this inside if I'm kind of you know doing like an all day long outing I love that this can fit a water bottle. So I have one of the smaller Avion bottles. This fits right on the side here. I have my Damier mini pochette accessory. And by the way, this is, I got from Dress Your Purse. I'll link her Etsy shop below, but it has, it's the same matching Damier a Ben leather. So this is just my essentials. Um, I, I've shown this before, but I'll link another video if you want to see what's inside, but I'm just showing you what's What's in here? You know, I, I typically carry a powder, chapstick, you know, a little perfume, lip liner, cash, and cards can fit in here. So that fits there. And this is great because they both stand upright so that you can fit more inside. This does fit my trusty Agenda PM in the multicolor. And that can fit right in the front pocket. I have my keys, multicolor key pouch. I can just slip right here. I have my 
mini Chanel mini O case pouch. I use this as a wallet and this fits right in this last pocket, which is pretty slim. So I keep all that in here and that's pretty much it. So that's typically what I carry in my Pochette Matisse. I have my Chanel mini O case pouch back there, a bottle of water, my uh, mini Pochette accessory essentials pouch, my agenda PM and my keys. And then my phone fits right here in the back. And this still is able to be closed. So that's it closed. And you can see it's expanded a little bit. And it actually has, still has more room, but I find that this is usually what I would carry in here. And that's in the Pochette Matisse. What's great about the Outdoor Messenger is it can carry everything that I have in the Pochette Matisse and more. So I'll show you what how, how I pack everything in here in the Outdoor Messenger, and then I can still carry a few more things. Okay, so this is the interior, it's nice and empty. I still have the tag back there. So I usually pack the water in here first on the side. And again, everything is standing upright so that it saves more room. Here's my mini pochette accessory essentials, my LV Agenda PM. So that's it up right. Chanel mini O case pouch I keep back here in this little flap po pocket. So I keep that Chanel back there. Essentials in the front. So I'll have my phone in here, my keys. So you can see there's still tons of room. There's still tons of room in here. So I have an entire huge portable charger and I love this guy. I've shown this before, but it's great because it has the plug on the back and then it has multiple types of charge charging ports. You know, you have the lightning port and then the regular USB charger anyway. So, so I can fit that also in this front pocket. And then there's still plenty of room here. I can actually fit this full size Laneige lip sleeping mask, which is my, which, this is my favorite lip balm, but this fits this entire huge size can fit right there in the side. And you wouldn't even know <laughs> it has a huge lip balm in there and then it just zips closed but I can also fit a full-size Sarah wallet here is the interior and you can see that there's there's still plenty of room in here so I'll just go ahead and slip this in here you kind of have to play Tetris around here um, but yeah so it fits a full-size um, checkbook size wallet along the side a water bottle, mini pochette, and a Agenda PM, and the Chanel O-Case pouch right in here. It just zips closed. So there you go. It's pretty heavy, but it does fit all of that. So again, the Outdoor Messenger is slightly bigger. This does edge out the Pochette Matisse in terms of capacity. But again, overall, I do use this more because I find that this is easier just getting in and out of out of this bag day to day. It's just a lot easier to, to use. Um, if I do need to carry more, I do use this Outdoor Messenger. These are very similar in size, uh, but depending on what you need to carry with you on day to day, it's really your preference. If some people don't like zippers, if you hate zippers, and I would not go for this. This is, again, just really easy to get in and out. So if you just want something quick and easy, I would recommend getting this. But the Outdoor Messenger is a great alternative if you are looking for the Pichette Matisse and you're not able to get your hand on it. I do use both of these and I, I love the color of, um, of this. I love the Monogram Eclipse. If you're a fan of the Monogram Eclipse and you wanted a crossbody, this is a great option if you're not able to get the Pichette Matisse. So definitely check it out in store and try it on. Uh, the other consideration, if you can, if you do carry a lot, this is a wider shoulder strap and it's a lot more comfortable to wear. And if you are one to either adjust your bag all the time or you find that you might be limited with the Pochette Matisse because this just does have the, it only has five grommets that you can adjust the length to. So if you are, I guess, exceptionally tall, you might, find that this is a little more limiting in terms of the adjustments. Whereas the Outdoor Messenger, you can adjust on both sides, you know, all the way down to the bottom. And it's, uh, you're not limited to however many holes are already here. And it's on both sides. So it's 
already probably you have a lot more length and because this is intended for you know this is part of the men's collection so i guess they're intending for a you know a larger taller man to carry this so it is able to be adjusted to a lot longer length if you need that length for your shoulder strap but personally again I do love both. This does carry a lot, but just on a day-to-day, -day, I do prefer the Pochette Matisse. So that is my review and comparison of the Outdoor Messenger in the Monogram Eclipse Noir and the Pochette Matisse in the Reverse Monogram. They are definitely great options. I don't think they're that similar. Um, obviously, I, I don't think they're that similar, otherwise I wouldn't own both of them. They both have their own purpose. So depending on what your needs are and what you carry, um, yeah, this makes a great option. And again, this is from the men's collection. So if you are a woman and you've never checked out the bags in the men's collection, I definitely suggest checking them out because there are a lot of a lot of options there that uh, you can appropriate for yourself. So, so yeah, the Outdoor Messenger and the Pochette Matisse. So I love both of them and I use both of them. Uh, so let me know if you have either of these or if you're considering getting this. Let me know what your thoughts are and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.